I've posted a few videos of the Phantom R1, and this was an extremely similar knockoff. The issue is, is it's also um, $398, which is, I mean, I paid $280 for mine, but I believe the other one was still around $400 or less. But let's look at the differences between them. It's not exactly the same, but almost. <laughs> the frame's the same. I don't see the, uh... <laughs> doesn't have the front brake as a front light, but not down at the bottom like the other one. Handlebars fold up the same. It's like a hundred bucks more expensive. Funky. So far I think we have run about uh, four or five charges through this thing. It's pretty handy. It's not the greatest. If you're looking at something just to get you around the campground or uh, just down the road, it's been handy to uh, go run and get some parts at, at uh, Napa or O'Reilly's. Otherwise, it's not the fastest. It's not the most powerful. I do have to sometimes kick it off just to uh, just to get up a short hill, but um, overall the thing's pretty fun. So biggest difference between this and the uh, Hyper Scoot is going to be that extra disc brake on the front, which I think is pretty important. Um, I think the headlight's going to be a little bit different too. This one on here is extremely bright, so driving at night is is not a big problem. Um, might actually blind some people um, if you're hitting them straight on. So. Check it out if you want, but I think the uh, that Walmart brand is extremely overpriced. I think uh, this one would end up being the better deal, just, just if nothing else, to have the extra disc brake. So you'll have better stopping power instead of having to worry about one of the brakes going out.